the number of ASR signals of a covalent compound uh, iridium hexachloride. So, here just it is an actinidal complex, right? Now, just draw its structure minus 2 in which iridium is in plus 4 oxidation state. That is why it is having 5 electrons in its d orbital. We know that 4D and 5D transition metal complexes are always low spin in nature regardless of ligands field strength. Okay, That is why in octahedral geometry in the presence of ligand field strength the d orbital splits into T2G and Eg. Okay, So, all the 5 electrons are filled up here in T2G only. Okay, You can see 1 electron, 1 odd electron is observed. Okay, so, that one odd electron always uh, resolve or simply what we say, it uh, just moves on the all 6 chlorines, okay, but not reside on the iridium. Okay, the electron is not stable on the iridium, it just moves on the all 6 chlorines. Okay, right. In that case, you can see that here rhodium, uh, sorry, iridium and hydrogen. So, the coupling is observed. So, sorry, not iridium, here only we have 6 uh, chlorines, right? Okay. So, that is why here we need to consider the nuclear spin of chlorine that is 3 by 2. Okay. How many chlorines are there? 6 chlorines are there. That is why 2 into 6 into 3 by 2 plus 1, you will get 19 as the correct answer. That is 19 signals are produced. So, here there is no coupling with this iridium nuclei, where, where iridium has a the nuclear spin is half. So, why there is no coupling with this iridium? Because the odd electron is not staying on the iridium. The odd electron always just move on the 6 chlorine atoms regularly. That is why there is no coupling with that iridium. Only 6 chlorine atoms are going to contribute for the signals. So, 19 signals are observed. Okay, right. And this indicates that all the bonds are covalent bonds in the given IRCl6-2. Got it? Okay. So, the next question. The number of HNMR lies absorbed, sorry, lines absorbed in the given complex. So, here it is not 2, simply say 4. Okay. That is 4, not 2. And uh, in this case, you can see the bondings will be just like this. Here is a hydrogen. Here is a chlorine. Here, P double bond O C H 3. So, the same can be observed on all these three. Okay. Now, you can see that here we have given the nuclear spin of rhodium as off. Okay. And we know that hydrogen nuclear spin is off. So, here we need to find number of HNMR signals. For that HNMR hydrogen, so we can see one rhodium coupling. So, H rhodium coupling is observed. How many rhodiums are there? Only one is there. That is why 2 into 1 into half plus 1, 2 signals can be observed. Okay. So, in HNMR 